Welcome everyone, special welcome to my subscribers, thanks for coming back. And to you new viewers, you should become subscribers too because you're going to get cool videos like this one. A really easy but I think a great fall autumn recipe. Apples are being harvested like crazy right now, so jumping right in, we're making some homemade applesauce in a slow cooker. This is what happens when you get five pounds of a mixture of uh, Macintosh yeah. and Gala yeah. Yeah. apples. And I think there was one Golden Delicious that we had here at the house. Um, that's five pounds. They're uh, peeled, cored, and then just rough cubed. Uh, to that, we're going to add some lemon juice. That's uh, two tablespoons of lemon juice. This is just to help keep it freshened up. It'll give it that little tart. This is uh, real maple syrup and it's two tablespoons so make sure you get that and not like Aunt Jemima or whatever um, imitation you want to make sure you get real you'll yummy. notice a difference I promise two tablespoons this looks yummy. it looks yummy yes okay yes, yes, yes. all right now my great assistant here come here that's Anna. nice so I don't know if you can reach this or not and I'm trying to okay. you gotta help me pour yes this is one cup okay of apple juice. This is totally optional, but it, I think it helps because we're slow cooking to keep it nice and moist. Uh, you don't have to put anything in there, or you could use water. Uh, one cup of a, uh, apple juice. Last thing we need to do is we need to spice it. So this is six tablespoons of brown sugar and one tablespoon of cinnamon. Just tilt the plate. All right, and that is all there is to it. I'm just going to use this to pick these guys up a bit. Mix. That's it. Six hours on low, or you can let it go the full eight if you want, if you're going off to work. When we come back, we'll see what it looks like once it's cooked down, and it will be a nice, delicious applesauce. See you then. It's been six hours, and remember we started with five pounds. We still have five pounds, but uh, you can see how it's really shrunk down. Um, this is one of the cool things about using a mixture or a variety of apples. Uh, also the size of the cut. You can still see some of them are pretty good chunks and some of them have really mashed down. Uh, one thing that I didn't mention is you do want to stir this every now and then. Um, it doesn't have to be often, but it's not going to hurt if you do. This is called an immersion blender. and uh, It's because you immerse it into the food. Uh, when you turn it on, a little blade spins. So this is optional. If you like chunky uh, apple sauce, you can do that. But all I'm doing is trying to smooth it out a little bit more. You be careful because it is hot. And don't put it all the way down on the bottom because it will get You're going to do that till you get it to the consistency you like. Uh, and you can see it's starting to look much more like an applesauce now to a traditional store-bought applesauce, if you will. I have a bowl over here. I'm going to just take a nice little scoop. And of course, I wouldn't normally serve this straight out of the bowl. Um, eating warm applesauce is fine, but I like to let it sit for a little bit. Um, and then if you wanted to reheat it. But that's all there is to it. Uh, you can make a bunch of this stuff up, and if you have the canning facilities to do that, uh, can it up, and these will keep if you can them for a year. Um, if you don't, you can freeze them. Freeze them they should hold for a couple months. Otherwise, uh, put them in some kind of Tupperware and keep them refrigerated, and it should hold for a week or two. Easy as it can get. You know the drill. Give it a try. Let me know what variations you make to your applesauce, if you like it chunky or smooth or whatever. Otherwise, subscribe, share, and like. Comments below. Check back for the next video, and please take care.